Welcome back. This is part two. And what we're going to do is uh, read in our student book, page 90. Good finish. So we're actually going to uh, read section two out loud. Now, um, we're going to also listen to it on my CD, but if you want to play it at home later on your uh, cell phone with the QR, certainly that's perfect. Okay, number two, read. Read the newspaper advice column. Listen and read again. Title, The Smart Shopper. Dear Smart Shopper, I'm a jewelry lover and I enjoy shopping online. Unfortunately, I just bought a pair of gold earrings that I don't like. When I tried to return them, I learned that the seller has a no return policy. Don't I have the right to get a refund? Mad Madeline. Dear Mad Madeline, if the merchandise is defective, the seller must return your money or make an exchange. However, if the merchandise was in good condition when you received it, and if the retailer has a no return policy, there is nothing you can do. This is true for store purchases as well as internet purchases. In the future, here are some questions you should ask before you buy anything. Does the seller say satisfaction guaranteed or your money back? Is there a time limit on returns such as two weeks? Who pays the shipping costs on items that are returned? Do you need to return the merchandise in its original package? Is the original receipt required? Does the retailer give a store credit instead of a cash refund? If the retailer has a store in your area, can you return the merchandise to the store instead of shipping it? Next time, find the return policy on the merchandise, excuse me, on the merchant's website and print it or ask the merchant for the return policy in writing. It's important to get all the facts that you need before you buy. Shark. <laughs> Smart shopper. Okay, so now we're going to listen and see how much you understand while you're listening. Page 90, exercise 2. A smart shopper. Dear smart shopper, I'm a jewelry lover and I enjoy shopping online. Unfortunately, I just bought a pair of gold earrings that I don't like. When I tried to return them, I learned that the seller has a no return policy. Don't I have the right to get a refund? Mad Madeline. Dear Mad Madeline, if the merchandise is defective, the seller must return your money or make an exchange. However, if the merchandise was in good condition when you received it, and if the retailer has a no return policy, there is nothing you can do. This is true for store purchases as well as internet purchases. In the future, here are some questions you should ask before you buy anything. Does the seller say satisfaction guaranteed or your money back? Is there a time limit on returns, such as two weeks? Who pays the shipping costs on items that are returned? Do you need to return the merchandise in its original package? Is the original receipt required? Does the retailer give a store credit instead of a cash refund? If the retailer has a store in your area, can you return the merchandise to the store instead of shipping it? Next time, find the return policy on the merchant's website and print it, or 
ask the merchant for the return policy in writing. It's important to get all the facts that you need before you buy. Smart Shopper. Okay, so how many people understood 100% of what you just heard? They weren't supposed to be reading, you were just supposed to be listening. Good. How many people understood 80% of what they heard? How many people understood 50% of what they heard? Okay, so I move this a little closer so that you can hear a little better. So now they're asking us to please read this again so that you can kind of discover the things that you were listening to that you may not have understood. Okay, again, student book, page 90. Everyone, the smart shopper. Dear smart shopper, I'm a jewelry lover and I enjoy shopping online. Unfortunately, I just bought a pair of gold earrings that I don't like. When I tried to return them, I learned that the seller has a no return policy. Don't I have the right to get a refund? Mad Madeline. Dear Mad Madeline, if the merchandise is defective, the seller must return your money or make an exchange. I hope everyone's reading out loud. This is to strengthen your muscles, to hear yourself speak English, to know that you can speak well and so that you will have the confidence and the pra you'll have the practice in order to give you the confidence to go out and speak English in the world. Okay. However, if the merchandise was in good condition when you received it, and if the retailer has a no return policy, there is nothing you can do. This is true for store purchases as well as internet purchases. In the future, here are some questions you should ask before buying anything. Does the seller say satisfaction guaranteed or your money back? Is there a time limit on returns such as two weeks? Who pays the shipping costs on items that are returned? Do you need to return the merchandise in its original package? Is the original receipt required? Does the retailer give a store credit instead of a cash refund? If the retailer has a store in your area, can you return the merchandise to the store instead of shipping it? Next time, find the return policy on the merchant's website or ask the merchant for a return policy in writing. It's important to get all the facts that you need before you buy. Page 91. Next page. Check your understanding. Number one, everyone, what is the purpose of the chart smart what is the purpose of the Smart Shopper newspaper column? Your answer in a full sentence, please. That's right. Subject is the purpose. And the verb is help. The purpose of the Smart Shopper newspaper column is to help people understand about returning merchandise. Number two, what problem does Madeline write about? Actually, the smart shopper just gives help and understanding in all shopping, not just return policies, but all kinds of shopping problems. Number two, what problem does Madeline write about? Right, today Madeline is writing about a re return policies. So, it says, what does Madeline write about does? So she writes about return policies today. Number three, according to the article, when must a retailer return a customer's money? So a retailer must return a customer's money if... That's right, if the merchandise is defective or if the product is defective. Number four, 
Do you believe that Madeline is happy with the answer to her question? No, I don't think she's happy either. Um, why not? probably spent a lot of money for the earrings and doesn't like losing her money, especially if she doesn't like them at all, right? Okay, number five. What should Madeline have done before she bought the earrings? Beginning your sentence, she should have So there are several ways that you could have answered this. She should have asked about the return policy before she bought the earrings, um, or she should have read or tried to find the return policy online before she purchased the earrings. Number six, what is another word in the reading with the same meaning as seller or retailer? So you would begin by saying the word merchant, that's right, merchant. The word merchant is has the same meaning as seller or retailer. Or you could have said the word with the same meaning as seller and retailer is merchant. Both of those would have been correct. Okay. Staying on the same page, section B, build your vocabulary. Let's read. Compound nouns are noun plus noun combinations that have special meanings. Sometimes you can explain compound nouns with adjective clauses. For example, a jewelry lover is a person who loves jewelry. Number one, find compound nouns in the reading that match the meanings. Write them on the chart. Okay, so here we have the first meaning, a person who loves jewelry, the compound word is jewelry lover. The next one, a limit that is related to time. That's right, it is a time limit. What are costs that are related to shipping? It's easy, shipping costs. Okay, good. What is a credit that is given by a store? That's right, a store credit. What is a refund that is made in cash? That's right, it's a cash refund. What is a policy that is related to returns? That's right, a return policy. Um, so another word that they have in there is no return. So that means they have a no, you cannot return for any reason at all, right? The other compound word um, might be gold lover, a person who likes gold. Okay, so talk with a partner. And I'm going to ask and pretend that you're sitting across from me so that then you can, I, I'm going to pretend that I hear what it is that you're saying. But you're going to talk out loud when you're saying this. Number one, are you a jewelry lover? That's probably a yes or no question, so that's not going to take too long. The next one, what kind of jewelry do you like to buy? So you might start saying, I like to buy. Okay, number two, are you a shark's? I am reversing. Are you a smart shopper? Okay, why are you a smart shopper? Or why are you not a smart shopper? 
I know I can't hear you, but this is just a time for you to explain and speak in English what it is that you're trying to say. Try it. Okay. Number three, have you ever gotten a cash refund? Do you like getting cash refunds or store credits? Why do you, which one do you prefer and why? Okay, the last one. What is something you wanted to return but didn't? And have you ever done that? So the next question would be, why didn't you return it? You wanted to return it, but why didn't you? Use a complete sentence, please. Okay, <clears throat> let's turn to page 92. And before you write, talk with a partner, list some reasons people should or shouldn't shop online. So this is going to be your idea before we even read about reasons you shouldn't shop online. So the first one that they've put down is, it's convenient. One of the reasons you shouldn't shop online is, it's hard to choose merchandise you can't touch. Okay, let's see how many are the same. You should, it's convenient. Number two, someone might be handicapped, so it's very difficult for them to go out and leave the house, so it's easier to shop online. Also, someone who doesn't drive, and they would either have to take the bus or take a taxi. And why would that not why would that be difficult? That's right, because it would cost money to do that. The next one, one that I put down, maybe people don't like crowds. Or maybe you're too busy. Or maybe you don't speak English, so you don't feel comfortable going out and shopping in a store. I wonder how many of these reasons were the same as some of the reasons that you put down. So the reasons people shouldn't shop online. The merchandise might be poorly made. Or it takes too long to get it. Or um, you don't want to wait for exchanges and you don't like exchanging things online. Or it's dangerous because it might be a scam and people might be trying to get your credit card number and, or go into your bank and um, take some of your funds. That usually doesn't happen, but it could happen. But just remember, it's probably not going to happen if you have a secure website I mean, if you have a, yes, if your um, 
if you have a secure site and that that's a secure site and you know it's a secure site and you also have um, protection on your computer. Okay, that's it for today and I will see you for the next lesson.